Hey guys, it's Jamie. Wait a second. Was I really wearing this shirt last week? Oh my god. I gotta change. Alright. A mess, whatever. We tried. I might have forgot about this again. This week on YCC, we are talking about the um, anti gay thing and Russia and uh, the Olympics going on there, and our opinions on that, and just explaining it, I guess. Um, well, I haven't really been watching that much. Actually, I have not watched at all. I have to be completely honest, being a bad lesbian here, have not watched any of the Winter Olympics at all right now, because um, <laughs> I've been really busy, so I have no clue what's happening there right now. Should have read the article that RJ told me to read. Well, I'm just going it. Sorry. Um, <laughs> it's not saying. I know this. Like, I'm just going from the top of my head. What I know. I know it's not illegal to be gay there. It's just illegal to openly be gay. To like show like, like PDA. Like, you can't really do that. But it's not illegal to be gay. Yeah, I'm probably sounding like an idiot right now. I really should have done something. I really should have read something. All I know... You know what? Let's read something. And obviously, it's a little, like, difficult for people to, you know, like, celebrate, I guess, or to, like, show their love and stuff because it's illegal to show PDA in Russia. The controversy going on with the Olympics right now is that people are trying to boycott it. I don't know right now, but at the time before the Olympics started, a lot of countries and a lot of people wanted to boycott. I'm not really sure if they had, any of them did, but I know people are like refraining from watching it. I know people are refraining from doing this and that with the Olympics because of the whole gay thing. Like I said, like, I really rarely know anything. I tried reading some articles, but they weren't really, like, I couldn't find any good ones. But that's really what I know, is that, um, that it is hard for people to show love. I guess my opinion is that I am quite bothered, and I really hope that Russia wasn't doing this, because, like, honestly, like, this sounds so stupid, but Russia, like, that's one of my favorite culture, like, that whole country is, like, one of my, being Russian, and that whole Eurasian type, like, culture is one of my favorite cultures, and I, like, used to, like, learn how to speak Russian, and I was so into that. The fact that, like, that country and, like, the president is doing that, it kind of, like, it saddens me, because, like, it's, like, really discouraging, it's really killing, like, the, like, the vibe I had on Russia, like, I always wanted to go there, and I always wanted to, like, live there and experience there for, like, a year or two, and it's just really, it's really upsetting, and I'm sorry for all the people out there that are living there, and I hope that no one is getting hurt. I hope that people speak, and I hope that one day that Russia isn't, isn't under that law, and isn't under that terrible situation. The Olympics and this law are like two different things. Like, it shouldn't be... Like, I know it's hard for like gay athletes going in there. I know like, okay, say... <sighs> oh my god. Say I went to the Olympics and I was gay. Like, and that was like the law in Russia. Like, as much as that sucks, I would respect them because it's their country. It's not my country. I'm going to somewhere I don't even know and I know what they go by is not my way of living but sometimes we just have to deal with it and that's exactly how I feel and I know it's not the best and I feel bad for people that live in Russia but us foreigners going into the Olympics being gay like not being gay just anything in general like they definitely just much as it sucks respect their laws, respect their customs, respect what they feel. And when you get home and then you can complain about it and then you can kiss your girlfriend, then you can kiss your boyfriend. I'm just trying to be honestly civil. Like, of course I'm upset by it. And I get that being like love shouldn't be like under a law. It's like, you know, like a privilege. It's like an honor. Like <laughs> I know that sucks. But Russia, like if you don't live in Russia, 
Like, I understand we need to help out because that's, that's what America does. We help out with everybody and then we get ourselves into all this crap that we don't need to be in. But, like, just with this, I feel like you need to res we need to respect what they are going by and try to fix it when we're done with this. You're all gonna hate me now. And I'm sorry, but, um, yeah, I'm kind of in one of those moods where, like, I'm just being realistic, and I'm trying to be positive, and I know it's a really dumb, not dumb, it's a really stupid situation that Russia put themselves in, and having the Olympics there, and that, it's just, I'm trying to stay, like, really realistic, and really, like, let's stay on the peace side of things instead of fighting, instead of boycotts, oh, excuse me, instead of boycotts, instead of all that stuff, I think we just need to, like, get over it. Sorry for being a terrible gay, guys. Whatever. If you don't see me next week, you know why it was this video. <laughs> just kidding. But hopefully you guys don't hate me too much on my, like, my opinion. Alright, see ya.